Quiz number one. A stream of protons is acted upon by a magnetic force of blah, 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 while traveling. Now, here's the key. They have to be perpendicular. If they're parallel, there is no force. That's my way of saying probably somewhere on the multiple choice of your test, Dylan, I'm going to give you at least one in the picture where they're parallel, and I'm going to tempt you to think there's a force, but the answer is no force, or it's going to go in a straight line. It's not going to curve at all, but you know. What speed are the protons traveling at? So we said this, the force, quite please, the force, the magnetic force on a charge is QVB. I'll give you a half mark for writing that. I think that means that the speed is equal to the force divided by QB. The speed is equal to 4.8 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by, oh, they didn't give me the charge. Did they, did they need to give me the charge? Justin, I say to you, no, no, because it's a proton and that's on my sheet. It's the elementary charge of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And the magnetic field is uh, pretty big, 0.5 Teslas. 4.8, 10 to the negative 14, divided by bracket, 1.6, negative 19, times 0.5. The answer is 600,000, or 6.0 times 10 to the fifth. meters per second. Now technically if you wrote 600,000 that's one sig fig. I'm not gonna freak but they might for those of you that are writing on the provincial. Uh, you know what I notice I have one two three four lines two marks. How about half mark for each one of those but if you got the right answer full marks. Number two a wire carrying a current of uh, four amps is shown in the above diagram. If the force that the wire experiences is 1.4 times 10 to negative 2 newtons, what's the strength of the magnetic field? So the magnetic field, magnetic force in a wire is bill. And they want me to find the strength of the magnetic field. They want me to find B, which is going to be F divided by BL. It's going to be 1.4 times 10 to the negative 2 divided by a B, I, did I say B, yeah, thank you, divided by I, L, thank you, something was bugging me, I hadn't quite figured it out yet, because it's going to be 4 amps, now, look up, this is too easy, it actually is for physics 12, and so Sally, what they will always do to make it a tiny bit more difficult, they'll give you the diagram, and they will always give you the total length of the wire, and the length of the magnetic field. They will always give you two lengths. Which length do you think I'm going to use? Well, which section of wire is undergoing the force? All of it? No, just the section that's in the magnetic field. I'm going to use the 0 .042. And they'll do that if you, do the review. if you work on the review. You'll notice in almost every diagram there's always two lengths. Also, especially because it's multiple choice, it lets them make up more wrong answers that you might get. Uh, 0 0.014, that is 1.4 times 10 to the negative 2, divided by bracket 4 times 0 0.042. 0 0.0833, so 0 0.0833 Teslas, or 8.3 times 10 to the negative 2 Teslas. Seems reasonable. What's a big magnetic field in Teslas? like 50 or 100. If you get an answer of 2,000 Teslas, I doubt it. And maybe at the Large Hadron Collider they get stuff like that, but I doubt it. Right? What's the direction of the magnetic force? Okay. Uh, oh, thumb in the direction of the current, which for me is to my left. That's to your right. Fingers into the page. <clears throat> Down the page. Hopefully you figured out that there was a part two on the back. Sorry, I couldn't fit it all on one page. Uh, one mark. Okay. 
An electron traveling at 5 times 10 to the 6th meters per second moves perpendicular. Okay, that's good. To a magnetic field. Oh! What's the magnetic, uh, what's the magnitude of the force? The force is just QVB. It's equal to Q electron 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. V, 5 times 10 to the 6th. B, 8.5 times 10 to the negative 3, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19, times 5 times 10 to the 6th, times 8.5 times 10 to the negative 3, 6.8 times 10 to the negative 15, is that right? Yep. 6.8 times 10 to the negative 15 newtons. B. The electron is forced into a circle. Oh, magnetic force equals circular force. QVB equals MV squared over R. <clears throat> Yay, one V cancels. What do they want me to find here? Radius is mv over qb. Now I'm going to pause for a second. This situation is the most common using principles of physics right to explain question that they'll ask. So they'll say something like this. They'll ask you to find the radius, and then part b they'll say, what if you had twice the charge, what would the radius be? Bigger, smaller, or the same? Twice the charge would give you an extra two down there. I think, Justin, it would make the radius smaller. Oh, what if instead of an electron it was a proton? What would the radius be? Bigger, smaller, or the same? A uh, proton would have the same charge. Oh, but a bigger mass, bigger radius. Uh, what if the uh, same electron, but we were traveling faster? Bigger radius. Uh, if we were using a voltage to accelerate the electron, like an electron gun, like a cathode ray tube, what if we dropped the voltage? If you dropped the voltage, it would be traveling slower, smaller radius. So there's all sorts of different ways starting from here, and you'll see a bunch of them on the right-hand rule sheet that is due as well as an assignment that I emailed you an answer key for the other day, and uh, you'll see a bunch of them on the great big review that I have a handwritten answer key for online. Okay? Meanwhile, here... Uh, 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31. I think that's the mass of an electron. Uh, how fast? 5 times 10 to the 6. Negative 6. No, 6, Mr. Duke. All over 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. And 8.5 times 10 to the negative 3. What'd you get? What's the radius? Three point three five times ten to the negative three, is that right? People nodding? Three point three five times ten to the negative three meters. See, what's the kinetic energy of the electron? Hey, kinetic energy hasn't changed since grade eleven. How do I calculate kinetic energy? Half mv squared. Potential energy has changed. We've got like four different ways because it depends now, Justin, on what type of potential energy. Gravitational on Earth, gravitational cosmic, electric potential. Uh, we did one more, I think, that I can't remember. Anyways, we've got several different options. But kinetic, same old, same old. It's going to be a half m v squared. What'd you get, Brandon? What'd you get, Dylan? Uh-oh. See, I'm kind of sense, so I'm starting to ask. Sorry? Didn't have a calculator? You didn't need one for that. Come on, it's half of that. It's a ninth. Oh, come on. Adding some exponents, please. What'd you get? 1.14 times 10 to the negative 17? 1.14. Times 10 to negative 17 units, Ryan. Thank you for doing the homework. <clears throat> 
Is that right, Jan? Yes? Okay. Last one. What's the magnetic field strength inside a solen... Okay, so magnetic field of a solenoid is mu naught, and it's either n i over l, or it's little n times i, depending on whether they gave me the total number of coils and the length, or the number of coils per meter. I think here they gave me the total number of coils. So mu naught, the permeability of, of, of free, free, free space, 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 my favorite constant, uh, 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7. N is 600. I is 2.5. L is not 4. What is L? 0 0.04. They don't very often make 4 meter long solenoids. I'm sure there are some applications, but not common household everyday ones. What'd you get? 0 0.047 Teslas, is that correct? No, yes, yep, people nodding. Two marks, I'd probably go one mark for that, half mark for the numbers, half mark for the answer. 4.7 or 4.6? Four 4.7? Four no? People are, not, people are frowning? Okay, let's try this. Better double check this one. 4 pi scientific notation button, negative 7 times 600 times 2.5 divided by 0 0.04. Yeah, 0 0.047. Sorry. Teslas. Give yourself a score out of 13 and pass them in.